example. The rise of artificial intelligence. It's seen driverless cars on the street. Well, the next step could be captainless ships on the world's oceans. The world's first autonomous commercial ship voyage in congested waters has just been completed after 40 hours of navigation with full autonomy, achieved for 99% of the trip. It's hopes that automation can lead to less collisions on the water. Well, joining me now live from Tel Aviv is Yard and Gross. He's co-founder and chief executive of Orca Artificial Intelligence, which is the company behind the technology. Yarden, welcome to you. This was a 40-hour journey in uh, some pretty congested waters around Tokyo. Hello, Ian. Pleasure to be here. Um, yeah, this was the first voyage that took place in very congested waters for a full commercial ship uh, for 14 hours that did 400 maneuvers and avoided more than 100 events with other vessels. And this was super successful and um, the first step for full autonomous ships. So what are the next things that have to happen then towards the rollout of this technology? So we, <clears throat> the next step is to increase the technology capabilities to have more scenarios that the technology can handle and basically to do it in the next couple of years to be able to commercialize it. And when we want to commercialize it for ocean going vessels to, go, to do not only coastal um, uh, voyages, we need the help also for the regulations. So regulations are also working on this at, at, the, at the moment to change the, the legislations regarding ships in ocean going vessels. And what sort of interest are you getting from shipping companies around the world? Are they keen to, to get this up and running as quickly as possible? Yes, there is a lot of interest. Uh, this project was actually founded by the Japanese foundation, um, Nippon Foundation, and it was run by the biggest shipping company in Japan, NYK. Uh, our technology was powering the, the decision-making of the autonomous voyage. Uh, but there is a lot of interest and a lot of push from the industry because they understand that shipping industry eventually is the backbone of global supply chain and a safer, more efficient shipping industry is a more sustainable global supply chain. Now, obviously, you've proved that AI can help ships navigate congested waters, but what about other threats to shipping such as piracy? Is that something that AI can, can tackle as well? Yes, there are use cases for that, and we are working on it. Um, piracy usually are coming from behind the ship, and we have a solution that takes 360 degrees of cameras with thermal cameras to be able to detect them in pitch black night in the most you know severe scenarios. Uh, so we're working on it, and it's going to be launched pretty soon. I'm uh, threatening to make you a bit of a hostage to fortune here, but, I mean, how widespread <laughs> do you think autonomous shipping is going to become? Will, will it be pretty commonplace in the next decade or so, do you think? Completely. It's going to be gradually, but it's creating a lot of value for the shipping industry, so I see it gradually being more and more adopted. It needs to be uh, a consortium of working together between shipping companies, technology companies, and also the regulation itself. But for sure, very similar to the aviation and what happened in the last couple of years, where to have your, today you have a pilot sitting in the cockpit, but actually 95% of the time he's not flying there and the computer is doing that. So the shipping industry, which was operating in a very conservative way in the last couple of decades, are now moving forward, and it's mainly being driven by, by connectivity. So now ships can act, shipping companies can actually deploy technology to the ships and make the operation more efficient and more autonomous. All right, Adam, we have to leave it there. Good to see you this morning. Hopefully uh, hear more about this in the future from you. Thank you very much, and it was a pleasure.